Me on my side, I'm saying that education for all is but a talk. When I say a talk, when I come up to 22, up to 23, we saw that there was a huge number of 37% of people who move from primary to secondary. Imagine if they are 37% moving from primary to secondary, where are the next? Where are the 63 percent remaining ones? I hope my opposition side are going to answer it. And when it comes to that, there is a provision, me on my side, we are saying that provide free education to disadvantaged and underprivileged rural children can. If we say that education is going to be for all, this is not totally going to be possible. It's actually a total talk. Because if we are saying that people, there is a very high number of the school dropouts. We have many facts that are proven in. As in Rwanda, we are having current literacy rate of 73.2%. You can ask yourself, I'm asking my, my opponents, where are the next ones? If we are having 73.2% of literacy people. And actually, according to the statistics, where allocation for secondary education have reduced to 93.2 billion Rwandans francs, down from 111.7 billion Rwandans francs in 2020 to 2021, reflecting a difference of 16.6%. That's a lot of number of decrease that can be a big problem and a big burden for us to handle it. A decline, yes please. You said that seven percent of the people from primary to secondary. Thank you. Like Actually, it means that you are not hearing me. In Rwanda, we are having a rate of litmus rate of 73.2%. This means that if we are having 73.2%, we are how are we going to fill up? How are you? What is your action plan for you to fill to up to 100 percent This means that this shows that this is a talk but not of education for all. Another one is that the government of Rwanda allocated uh, this is that the government of Rwanda, if it's allocating or if it's decreasing from 93.2 of billions of Rwanda's francs, from 111.7 of billions of francs, this shows that there is no power, they are not empowering it for them to improve their education for long. As we saw in 2020, in 2020, in the fragment of COVID-19, we saw a very huge number of school dropouts. I can ask my colleagues, what are you doing with that school dropouts? Not only those school dropouts are being caused by many things. There is lack of school fees. People are struggling with life outside here. How can you tell me that I'm going to take my kid to the to study yet I'm starving with hunger. This is so impossible. This is a talk but not for more. And when it comes to that, we've seen that yes please. You say that is seven percent of the people from primary thank you, I'm misusing my time. According to Rwanda today, one hundred and sixty learners dropped out of school. In Huye and Urela, imagine 1,600 people dropping out in only two districts. This is a very big problem. I, I think you can understand. 1,600 dropping out from school and then they're encouraging us education for long. This is very impossible and impossible and impossible. It cannot be even though you can. Me, I'm waiting for your action plan and you answering for my questions. Thank you, these were my views.
you don't come, you don't come. You don't count if you don't count. Please count. My, my name is Yumba Viana. I'm from opposing side. Uh, I'm opposing this this motion that is said that this this house believes that the education for all should be the education for all is is but a tool. Education for all is a global movement led by UNESCO Army to meet a need to a need like Oh, for all children, youth, and the adults, and adults, strategic education for all in Rwanda is very is very possible. As the as the data statistics, the data statistics yes, show show us in Rwanda uh, we we have we are on the top performing in education according to to, to other countries in, in sub, sub, sub saharan Africa countries. Uh, in, in 2003, we have introduced free education as part of government policy to improve schools in, 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 in enrollment in general and the attendance of group children in, in program. However, in addition, the school fees are that can have school staff. The poor population and the housing cases in Rwanda shows us that in, uh, they, they conducted in August 2012 show that 60, 60, 68% in Rwanda population aged 50, 50 years older they will read. They, they will read they will re literate. They will literate. This shows the increase of 3.6 percent that have increased from 2002. There are the increase in population in in a populist joining primary school. For example, in two, in, a, in 2016, they they will they will re two two thousand. 546 and 263 properties, which increased in, 18, in 2018, and they, they, they became 2,505 properties, where 